Hello, this is Dr. Cosby again, taking you through the module, um, basically database by database. So today we're on an evidence-based practice database called the TRIP database. And like most terms in, in the field of healthcare, TRIP actually stands for something. So turning research into practice. Essentially, the goal of this, this particular database is really to encourage evidence-based practitioners to search for high-quality research articles that can certainly help um, answer a clinical question in the clinical setting, right? We've learned about EBSCOhost, we've learned about PubMed, we've learned about CNAL, we've learned about uh, Google Scholar, several other different databases, right, out there that are available to you. And so again, like I said, this is just another database to add to the database toolbox. Uh, I'll tell you some of the things that I really like about this database, uh, and then maybe some of the pitfalls to the database as well. So when you enter the TRIP database, right, you're going to, to get there, you're going to use your search engine tool here, and you're just going to try, type in tripdatabase.com, and you'll be taken to the TRIP homepage. And on that TRIP homepage, there are uh, lots of things, but I actually think it's a pretty simplistic site. So we're really going to be focused on the center of the page, right? And there are really two options available to us. It's either to search just with basic search terms, which we've learned in previous database models, or to search using a PICO format. And this is one of the things that makes this website or this database distinct when we compare it to the other databases that we've learned about thus far. So the search tab, you know how to use that, right? We could type in key terms to find research articles, and you've learned how to use Boolean operators, you've learned how to use tourniquet terms. So I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time here within this particular website teaching you how to use the search engine because it's pretty simple. What I'm going to do is click on the Pico and what it does is, is it changes the format of our search. And I'm sure you guys can see that when we click that tab, right, that search bar went from being a single search bar to now having four search bars. And you just finished a module where you created a Pico, right? And there was a P, there was an I, there was a C, and there was an O. And the P stood for population, the I stood for intervention, the C stood for comparison, and then last but not least, that O stood for outcome, right? And so now what we're doing is we're saying, okay, we had you do all of this work in creating a Pico question. Now go ahead and take your Pico question and put it in this website and let, it, let us see what uh, results it yields, right? And so we're going to continue with our carpal tunnel patient because it seems like if we're consistent, then the search terms and the things that we're using to search will be consistent as well. And so for so we said our population was going to be carpal tunnel. We said our intervention was going to be surgery. And initially we said conservative treatment, but that's too vague. So we'll say exercise. We'll compare it to an exercise group. And let's say our outcome is that we want to look at pain. So pain following surgery versus pain following exercise in a carpal tunnel patient population, right? So we enter in our search terms based on our PICA question, and then we click search. Uh, and what I really like about this database is what you're going to see here on, on this page, right? Uh, one of the things that is very unique and distinct to this particular database is this right here on the right hand side of your page. Essentially what this database does is it works with a third party vendor to determine the level of evidence for each research article that is yielded. So in this particular search, we yielded six uh, results or six high quality articles. And then what it does is it tell you, tells you where on the pyramid do these research articles actually fall right? And so if we're looking at this particular research article, what we know about research is it falls or research articles fall into a pyramid format, right? A hierarchy of evidence. And so the highest of highest quality articles always fall towards the apex of the triangle. And then the lowest quality research articles, the ones that we really shouldn't be using to make clinical decisions on, are going to fall towards the base, right? So if we're looking at this treating carpal tunnel when surgery fails research article, what we could say is that this is the highest of quality research. So if we're reading this research article, whatever their results are, we can take that and we can apply it to our carpal tunnel patient who is sitting in our clinic, right? 
And as we progress down this list of research articles, we can see that we have an array of quality of research, right? This primary research, while it falls towards the base, is still considered high quality research that should be used to drive clinical decision making. And then this yellow, right, or this base research article uh, would be a research article that you're uncertain about, right? So it shouldn't be the one research article that you use to drive your clinical practice, but certainly could be considered in the midst of several other high quality research articles, right? And so if we're thinking about TRIP database, again, what I really like about the TRIP database is that it's an evidence-based practice database that you can use in your journey to help support you as you continue to work on your critical appraisal topic in this class, your capstone or, or master's thesis project if you're in the MS kinesiology, right? Uh, again, I hope this is that this has been uh, helpful, right? We know that there are tons of search engines, so you have to choose the ones that you feel are easiest to work with and that would yield the best results, uh, the most quality results that you are looking for for your particular topic. Uh, again, thank you for your time. I look forward to continuing to navigate module two with you guys.